Keep all your game as and lost, as and lost. Hey guys, so today we are working on this 2008 BMW X6 35D um, with active suspension. We are going to be replacing the stabilizer link um, on the front left and right side of the vehicle. So um, at the same time, I'm also going to change the lower control arm just because I've noticed there's quite a bit of play in those, in those bushings. Um, so while we're in there, we may as well sort those out as well. Um, Basically, I have already taken the wheel off, which, you know, it's pretty fairly self-explanatory. You don't need any instruction on how to do that. But what we're going to use today is first off, um, up the top there, you can see that I've got a, um, I've got a number five hex bit um, on the end of my socket set. Um, and I'm also going to use a 19 millimeter spanner to just loosen this off a little bit. So the hex head there, um, is basically going to hold the stabilizer link um, in the right location while I unscrew the, the nut there using the 19mm spanner and I'm going to do the same for the back side which is down here as well so really quick and easy to do this um, so I'm not too sure why dealers charge so much for it because it's literally two bolts and you know you can you can do it at home um, just with a with a jack stand. Um, so we're first going to do this for the left and right, and then we'll also jump on to replacing the lower control arm here. So I'm going to first off, um, uh, I guess, release this nut. Um, always a good idea to use some penetrating fluid. I've been hitting this spot um, for a couple of days before I've done this job. It looks like it's all washed off now, but I have been hitting it with some penetrating fluid um, just to make it easy, and it's actually come off. Um, uh, quite well which is good so I'm going to continue on with the job and I will um, jump back on once I have this nut and the bottom nut removed. Just going to quickly jump back on and show you what I'm doing so I've got the socket set with the five number five hex there just in the end of the the bolt and I'm just releasing this nut like so. keep going with that one and then I'm going to hit the other one um, behind the hub okay so same thing for behind the hub basically have the uh, number five hex there um, in the end of the the bolt and I'm basically just using that to hold the bolt steady while I un, um, unscrew the nut using my socket set and I'm just going to keep going with that one and then we will remove it and replace it with a new one. Okay, so here's my replacement stabilizer link. Uh, these are Pista brand, made in Taiwan, so obviously the finest product. Um, basically, I got these off eBay. I think the set was about 75 Australian dollars. Um, there's a right hand, right hand side and a left hand side, so make sure that you are installing the correct one on the right side and they do come with new nuts um, and we also have to talk these down to spec so I will put the spec um, overlaid on the video um, but as you can see here basically I've got all of my nuts undone um, I'm just gonna can you take that one off and the same down there so we should basically be able to remove that from the vehicle now Bit of cracking, bit of wear there. Um, I don't know if these are original BMW or not. Yep, it's the same part number. Um, but yeah, it's um, not a hard replacement to do, so I will continue on the reinstall. Always good just to make sure that, that is nice and clean on both. Okay, I'm going to commence the reinstall. Okay, just something to note on the new uh, stabilizer link. Um, 
this was actually a uh, number six hex. So slight difference, um, but the rest of the bar looks, or the rest of the link, I should say, sorry, looks pretty much the same. Something to note, so on the ones that I took out, um, really, really easy to move, very loose on both ends. Um, so obviously this was on its way out. Um, whereas this is quite stiff, so you yeah, a distinct difference there between the two. Um, and it actually looks like, yeah, the nuts are a different size than what I removed, so I'm not sure if that is intentional or not. They're actually a different type. So I might just double check those ones. They look to be exactly the same. All right, so these have to be torqued up to 100 newton meters or uh, 74 foot pounds. So I've got my torque range set. I've actually already done this, but make sure it's tight as hell. And we're gonna do the same for that one, same torque specs. All right guys, so I've got the passenger, sorry, the driver's side buttoned up. Now I've moved on to the passenger side of the vehicle. Um, and as you can see on my passenger side, um, this uh, stabilizer link is, has definitely had it, it's leaking. Looks quite corroded. Um, yeah, definitely um, needs to be replaced. So I'm gonna remove this, uh, this nut from here and the nut from here and replace this side as well. So I will get back to you um, on the test drive and tell you how the vehicle feels once this has been up, this has been replaced. And there we have it guys, the new uh, stabilizer link has been installed. Um, as you can see, uh, much, much better improvement, or much greater improvement I should say on the original um, that we replaced. Everything sitting in nicely, it's all been torqued down to 100 newton meters. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lower the car, put the, so I'm gonna put the, um, put the wheel back on, lower the vehicle. Um, I'm going to take it out for a test drive and just see how, see how it handles and see if there's any sort of noticeable difference. All right, it's uh, probably common sense uh, to a lot of you guys on what um, what a car will feel like after you've replaced the uh, stabilizer links. And um, first impressions are it feels quite quite a bit tighter, um, especially when turning. Um, and I've also noticed that there is a lot less noise coming from the front end, which is really good. Um, yeah, it definitely feels tighter. Um, so overall, look, I'd say that's, it's been a great, great success and it didn't take too long to, uh, replace those at home, um, just with a with a few tools that most people have in their, um, in a toolbox. So yeah, definitely recommend it. Um, next up, I'm going to look at doing the, uh, lower control arms. I didn't have time to do it in, uh, today's video. Um, and I was also missing a, uh, 27 uh, millimeter socket, which is the, the socket that you need to actually, um, remove those, uh, some of the nuts from the lower control arms. Um, so I'll have to order one of those and, um, yeah, stay tuned for another video of Project Hero. Highs and lows, highs and lows It's all the same Highs and lows